What's going on guys? So today I am out here at the Coachman Catalina facility in Middlebury, Indiana. They invited me out to take a look at some new floor plans that they have. This one is really, really cool. I had to stop and see this one because I know a lot of folks out there are looking for things that are well equipped, compact, no slides, easy to tow, lightweight, and this one checks all those boxes. Let's take a closer look at it. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, let's start by taking a look at the front of this unit and working our way back. So you can see that this rides on a, what kind of frame is this one on? This is a BAL frame. This uses huck bolts and it's kind of a stamped frame versus a traditional I-beam frame. Um, the folks over at BAL claim that this frame is stronger because of how the bolts connect together and it's more serviceable. Um, I don't know if it's actually a better frame or if it's not, but it's just a different style of frame and BAL makes quality products. So this uh, to me would probably be a pretty dang good frame. You got your power disconnect over here. You have a small 20 pound propane can right here, which is perfect size for something like this. Check this out though. Isn't this super cool looking? Really compact, like super compact. It weighs like 2000 pounds, so it's super lightweight. You can haul this with a lot of vehicles. None of these trailers, except maybe one or two of them, actually have a weight sticker on them, so that's the reason why I'm not going over the weight. Here's your storage up front. Tons of storage. That is a lot of storage. I don't see a hatch on the other side though, which means I don't know how easy it would be to get to stuff that's on the other side. You got your awning up here with LED light strip beneath it. You got a standard door right here. I didn't know if it was gonna be a glass door. More ride step above steps. You have your Westlake kind of off-road inspired tires right here. You can see the suspension down here as well. Have your scissor jack stabilization all the way around, plus the leash link right there if you have a pet or an animal. Stepping up the more I step above steps into this 134 BHX. Now you're going to love the interior of this thing because of what all you get for this size. This thing is super, super compact and short. But check it out. You have a queen size bed up front. You have a nice shelf up here for storage, things that you want to put, maybe clothes. You got these cool little flip up countertops at least this one flips up right here nice little end table to put things on you have a kitchen with a small compact two burner gas cooktop undermount plastic sink you have a nice microwave up top here as well some storage here but check this out this is a bunkhouse can you believe that they made this thing as small as it is and still made it a bunkhouse with no slide outs there's no slide outs in this unit at all I asked them if they could put the pricing in here for me. So the MSRP is $20,298, which means the sale price is going to be significantly less than that. So you never want to go by this price. This is the price that, that they suggest selling it for, but dealerships always discount the price way, way, way lower than that. So don't, don't ever go by that price. If you are going by that price, you're probably paying too much. Just throwing that out there. All right here, you got some storage underneath. Your furnace is down there. Got some more storage right there. Again, this is really cool. You got two bunks in here. Now I do wish that they would have another window, but what I believe they're gonna be doing is moving this window up top here and possibly adding a window right here. What do you guys think about that? What do you all think about a super compact unit like this that is just completely blown out with windows, that has windows everywhere? Because I brought that up as an idea and I wanna hear what your feedback is. So something super small that has possibly a window here, a window here, maybe a big window up front right here, a window right here, another big window right here. How do you guys feel about it? Because these things are so small, you know, your air conditioning system's not gonna have any problem keeping it cool. But here's another food for thought. What would you think about this if it had dual pane windows, the acrylic style? Just leave a comment below. But I love this RV. I love the fact that it's so compact and small, towable by so many different types of vehicles. They're adding content to it, such as JBL sound system. Who does that? Who puts a JBL sound system in something this small at this price point? You have a nice little uh, refrigerator here at the end. I don't see a freezer option in this one though. This might just be a refrigerator. You have your breakers and fuses there. Stepping into the bathroom. So you have a standard plastic flush toilet. I like how they've raised it up a little bit with that box section so you're not sitting so low. You have your shower here plus a waterproof backing wall. 
very nice. There is no sink in here and there is no medicine cabinet. So you do have a mirror right there, but again, there's no, no sink or medicine cabinet in the bathroom. And that's kind of one of the things you have to understand. That's the compromise of getting something this small. They could have gone with a wet bath, I suppose. That might actually be an option, but instead they went with, you know, a larger bathroom, separate toilet, and then you just use the sink out here. Or maybe you put a bottle of hand sanitizer in there. I'm not sure. But you have your GE air conditioning system up top here as well. What do you guys think? This is a pretty dang cool unit. Let's step outside, take a closer look at some of the outside things, see what's going on out there. So again, we already mentioned the BAL frame, huge storage, has a nice friction hinge on the door so it's not gonna blow around on you. More I'd step above steps. You got the Westlake tires, your scissor jacks all the way around. This has LED lighting as well. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera. You have a tubular bumper. A lot of manufacturers are decontenting the bumper. So it's nice that you have a spot to put your, your dirty sewer hose, city water connection, black tank flush. It is prepped for the Lippert on-the-go ladder as well, which means you can walk on top of this if you need to. 30 amp connection here. This is where your cable satellite from your RV park would go into it. You have your drains down there. Fresh water fill right here outside of your furnace, outside of your water heater. But this is a super cool compact unit. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.